Hello everyone. Today I will discuss a few memory based questions of June 2020 exam of uh, CSR net exam. And here the questions, all the options are not possible to uh, exact the option whatever the in question paper. But we we have uh, done in a predicted way or uh, some of the question which was question came that's uh, what the answer will be that we can discuss here right so let's start so first is that uh, Carl Ouse three domain concept three domain concept of Carl Ouse uh, this question came and it will be answers will be 16s rRNA 16s rRNA specific and, and uh, these uh, I think options given 45s 45s and rRNA and another uh, option mitochondrial DNA this type of option is there so this uh, the three domain system by the Carl Woods it will be 16s rRNA based right actually three domain concept was archaea bacteria and eukarya eukaryotes these are three that's why three domain concept and this will be based on 16s rRNA sequencing data right now next you can see that Suresh is beaten this question came in part C um, part C question and Suresh was beaten by a poisonous snake and was immediately treated with anti of human immunoglobulin and was saved a year later he was beaten by the same type of snake and second time predict his response and now you have to predict that uh, what will be the effect of the snake venom right and first option is that he will fully he'll fully protected from the effect of the poison and second time because he developed adaptive immunity after first snake bite now option c he will be he will be equally sensitive as first encounter there are so option c there are residual cells anti venom antibodies that were involved in the original or first encounter hence he will be protected there will be memory cells made after the first encounter hence it will be more sensitive so option d is not 100 percent uh, correct so it is false now another is that you can see that the um, in case of b now if there is a possibility is that b and c now uh, and one important part is that there may be chance of uh, developing some amount of antibodies now the question is if it is a after three to four bite then it will be immune you know, completely immune to the uh, and of the venom of this of that particular snake if the snake is same type now if a, it's a chance of that there is a uh, possibilities of developing some Res the, those residual cell after the first encounter uh, they can produce generate and some antibodies and that may protect uh, the individual but here here is that and the question is that there is a chance of, of uh, how much amount of antibody will be generated that is the important because if the snake is during second bite if the high amount of poison is injected by that snake there is a chance of uh, you know, sensitivity is there but sensitivity will be less not should be equal there is a chance of, of uh, less uh, sensitive than previous one and uh, because some amount of antibodies already will be there so there is a chance of b and c so let's see what's the csr given so answer most of the correct is C uh, there is also chance is B because antivenom um, is, a, is a passive type of immunity right antibodies is developed in other organism and if that uh, time frequency is very low then there is a uh, chance of developing less amount of antibodies uh, so so most correct should be option C for that question right now next question next question is based on apoptosis pathway apoptosis pathway is given and diff, uh, four option is given and you have to predict that apoptosis pathway so answer will be the egl1 egl1 inhibit sed 9 egl1 inhibit sed 9 sed 9 inhibit sed 4 sed 9 inhibit sed 4 now 
Z4 activates inhibited Z4 activates Z3 Z3 now apoptosis this will be the exact pathway of apoptosis right so EGL1 inhibits Z9 Z9 in Z4 inhibits Z4 inhibited Z4 activates Z3 and then apoptosis this will be the correct option for that the four option is given and this uh, four option among them this will be the correct one right now next see survivorship curve also came uh, survivorship curve there is a different organism given and then based on that you have to predict which type of survivorship curve so you know that survivorship curve age versus number of survivor age versus number of survivor survivors so type 1 survivorship curve type 2 survivorship curve and type 3 survivorship curve type 1 survivorship curve for case selected species type 1 survivorship curve for case selected species and this one and uh, basically i think elephant is there elephant or any other mammals most of the higher mammals or including human will be here right and another is the oyster group will be here are selected or type 3 oysters type 3 right and this will be type 2 now this type of question came and now next is uh, in c2 cycle in c2 cycle or during photorespiration serine products produced in serine will produce in mitochondria we know that glycine to serine glycine to serine conversion so glycine to serine conversion takes place in the mitochondria the mitochondria and in in case of c2 cycle three organelles are involved chloroplast chloroplast peroxisome and mitochondria peroxisome and mitochondria mitochondria so serine glycine to serine conversion takes place in the mitochondria right now next question in trypanosoma splicing type is uh, uh, or this question is a little bit uh, i think different types of RNA, uh, RNA produced by, by, by after ply splicing, this was basically trans splicing, trans splicing, trans splicing will be the answer, trans splicing, right? Now, another question came on based on photo, um, in photosynthesis also question is there, another question is primer designing, primer designing question actually uh, based on that first is if you see that uh, during DNA denaturation DNA is denatured and, and uh, will get two separate stand one if you consider these are 3 prime to 5 prime another is the 5 prime to 3 prime now in case of during primer formation during primer during pressure reaction two types of primers are used one is the called forward primer another is the reverse primer forward primer is written as AP and reverse primer is written as RP so forward primer and reverse primer now primer so primer all it will be the forward primer it will be 5 prime to 3 prime another is the reverse primer another will be reverse primer it will be this way 5 prime to 3 prime direction so that way so forward primer AP stands for forward primer forward primer and RP stands for reverse primer reverse primer now you have given the sequence uh, in the question paper uh, there is a um, uh, sequence is given G A suppose uh, exact sequence is not possible so G A T G A A C T G so G A suppose G A A C T G A these are the three prime sequence the three prime sequence and these are five prime 
now you have to make your forward primer here so forward primer should be complementary with that and direction will be 5 prime to 3 prime so direction is z complementary c a complementary t t complementary a g complementary c t t right in that way it will be right in case of if you have a 5 prime to 3 prime sequence suppose in the another reverse primer the 5 prime to 3 prime now here is sequence is given suppose a g t c t t t t c a right so the primer designing primer will be design primer will be from here so it will be 5 prime to 3 prime so complementary sequence now g c t a g a a a a g t right so 5 prime to 3 prime this will be in that way and and in the question paper they have say or mentioned that there is no change of the gc because primer uh, design did we time the designing of a primer many other factors are important primer length uh, gc content uh, melting temperature of the primer right another is that they are so there should not be any prime because they, there is a chance of primer dimer formation there should only less amount of primer dimer formation chance many other all other factor remain constant they are not mentioned in the question paper they only mention that you have to find a complementary sequence either 5 prime to 3 prime which will be forward primer and reverse primer and these are only for normal pcr uh, primer designing they have asked that question hope this question helpful so if you are new in our channel please subscribe our channel get more of videos on that and we have also made many other videos like in case of biostatistics biostatistics question exactly whatever the mean median mode or the question came already we have discussed in that at a youtube channel another also we have discussed uh, like in case of linkage mapping problem linkage map question or exactly whatever we have discussed in here so is already came so please be subscribed and it will be benefit for you and you will get more more like videos and so thank you